Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. We got patch notes finally for patch 14.0.1, which is a technical bug fix patch uh, that showed up tonight. Or should I say yesterday morning or this morning? I guess it depends on where you are on the planet. But let's uh, let's get into the patch notes, talk about what we have and uh, what we don't have and see if any of it really matters. All right, so patch servers are gonna be down for three hours, give or take. By the time you watch this, servers are gonna be live. Uh, I'm filming this while the servers are down. So. Uh, first thing we see is fixed incorrect ammo penetration and damage calculation in some situations. This is a fix to armor or what we thought was armor. Um, we had gone down the path that it was you know, something was wrong with the armor. Maybe something was wrong with fragmentation. That's kind of where my head was at. Something was happening incorrectly between ammo and armor. We leaned on the armor side of it because we saw it happen with specific armors and not necessarily our armor, all armors. But uh, BSG is making it sound like it was something to do with the ammo penetration and damage calculations where that happens whether that's a bug with armor or ammo it's semantics this has to do with the bugs we've seen with armor so hopefully this addresses the majority of the issues we saw in testing obviously we're going to go and we're going to hit it real hard again we'll check things make sure things are operating properly or whatever it might be uh to see if we can break it again get more info to bsg to get more fixes and get things operating properly they also changed the ability to inspect and modify unexamined armor laying on the ground uh removed the display of integrated armor component pieces prices on the trading screen so these are just various ui changes and stuff with how the whole system works uh fixed the incorrect behavior of rogues when defending the water treatment plant buildings on lighthouse this was one that i was really surprised we didn't see with patch 14 um, but we got it now, but it is what it is. This has to do with the rogues all rushing the same spot. Like if you kill a rogue at the front, the rogues from all the buildings will rush towards you like crazed maniacs. And it made it either really easy to farm them or really difficult, kind of depending on where you got caught, how it worked. That's back to normal. So rogue farming is going to need some time to uh, get figured out again. If that's your shtick, that's what you like doing. It's going to go back to an older way. So we'll see. Big one here, they reduce the loudness of footsteps on snow. So this means snow is not going anywhere, it's staying, but the loudness of footstep is being decreased. This is good, I think. Um, there's pros and cons to this. Some people like it, some people don't. I felt it needed to be tuned personally, so I'm happy to see this. You might not be, that's not fine. That's, or, that's not fine. That is fine if you don't like this. We'll see how it plays out in the game, if it changes the way people are playing, if it makes it better or worse. Again, I guess that's kind of all subjective, but I'm eager to see how this plays out. They also have a fix on the inability to complete some quest conditions. Lots of different bugs from some people not being able to get Jaeger unlocked because their quest bugged out to some peacekeeper tasks, various things like that. This is a huge fix. Hopefully this actually actually fixes it. Sorry for mumbling my words late. The big thing with this is it's the second time around. There was one of these earlier, like a couple of days after wipe um but obviously they didn't address everything so hopefully this fixes it across the board for everybody and here's another huge one that people are going to love to see uh assuming it's actually fixed fixed an issue that caused infinite loading into a raid when playing as a scav in some situations so this is like that infinite uh loading screen uh waiting session start you'd load in you load in and then finally you just couldn't load anymore and you'd get an a wall and your scav would change and you lost your scav right hopefully this is addressed we saw this last wipe uh, it was a problem last wipe. I think it might have been a problem wipe ago, two wipes ago as well. I don't remember 100%. Um, so it might take a couple iterations to fix it all the way. Just have to wait and see. So if once you get going in there, give your scavs a try. Like I've been avoiding streets because I felt like that's where it happened the most. Um, so maybe be able to scab on streets or some of the other maps where you got stuck. Then there's a, a fixed a visual effect with bloom and sun glare on locations. I don't have any B-roll of this but it was just some weird lighting stuff that would happen on like the hoods of cars. Uh, sometimes it was, this was before the snow happened, but when there was rain, just reflection stuff, it was really bright, like really hard to see. So hopefully that's what this is being addressed and fixed. Uh, they did interchange color correction. Uh, I don't know what this means, to be honest with you. Interchange does look different this wipe. I thought for the better, it's brighter, it's easier to see but it is brighter than other maps. And you can tell that with the snow. Like I can play for me, like when I play do six or eight hour streams, if I'm playing other maps, I'm usually fine. If I'm on interchange and I'm outside a lot, I, I actually start to get eye strain and headaches from it because interchange is brighter. So hopefully this is just kind of that. Hopefully they don't make it darker like it used to be. Uh, they just get the color correction similar to other places. So we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. 
Another bug here is fixing the lack of fog on optical sights in some situations. This is just where like you're using an LPVO and at like 1X, there's no fog. 6X, there would be fog. Some scopes, it was fog at 1X, but at 4X, there was no, just kind of all over the place. So they might not have gotten every sight fixed because they've been chasing this for a good six months now too, trying to get this patched out and fixed. Um, we'll see if it's there or not. It's kind of exploity. It's not a huge deal, honestly. I guess when it's really foggy, it is. But thankfully, like if you're on a zoomed in scope, it wasn't that, as, it, you still had the fog. So we'll just have to see, hopefully it is addressed. Fix the inability to pick up some items, including quest items. So a big one with this was uh, Colleagues Part 2, I think. Whichever one is, you gotta pick up Sanitar's optomoscope from the cottages and the CMS kit at the pier. Uh, it's bit, you could do it, but you kind of had to get into a weird angle. Plus picking up stuff on like uh, interchanges, shelves was difficult. Uh, just other stuff, just weird things. And sometimes quest items you couldn't get either. So they've, they've gone and looked at that. Hopefully they've addressed everything and there's no more issues with that. Uh, and you can get stuff picked up. Now the fix the ability to pass through solid objects in some situations. So this is the vaulting exploits. This is where people are vaulting into shoreline without keys and getting in all the rooms or in some worst cases mark room and being able to get out by like teleporting through the wall because they climb up on a fucking lamp and a bookcase or something stupid hopefully this is fixed hopefully this will correct all of those issues it'll make shoreline playable again i don't want to say shoreline wasn't playable but if you weren't first in the resort you pretty much didn't use your keys because somebody probably came through and looted all the rooms with an exploit and left you hose bagged without doing it so uh the as long as i mean assuming you're an honest player uh, i guess everybody to their own but the 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 mark room was another pain in the ass because people could get out i mean player scabs would run straight for it and get out with mark room loot and you would be a pmc before you could even get there it was really frustrating um unless you were like me and sometimes you would just go sit above mark room and wait for people to come out and kill them um because that was fun uh fuck exploiters anyways um <laughs> I hate that. I hated this. If you can't tell, so they're saying it's fixed. That doesn't mean it's going to be fixed everywhere. There's probably still potentially places you can do it. So just keep an eye on it. Be a good person. If you see it, don't fucking put it all over social media. Don't try to get you know clicks and be cool because you shared an exploit. Clip it. Throw it on a YouTube page. Unlist it. Share it with BSG so they can fix it, and the whole world doesn't burn down around it. I'm off my soapbox with that one. Uh, fix the ability to transfer items displayed in the Hall of Fame for quests. So there was some pretty gnarly bugs where if you used an item out of your Hall of Fame um, for a quest, it would like bug your hideout out really bad. And there's different variations and problems with this at different levels. Hopefully this is addressed. If you had things that were screwed up because of this, go check it. Hopefully it's fixed and you can get guns out of your gun rack again and things like that. So again, hopefully that's fixed. I didn't have the problem, thankfully. Uh, it's kind of one of those things I always avoid on purpose just because it seems like it would be buggy um, but that's more of a luck thing than anything another huge one that i know a lot of people were looking for is fixed the airdrop loot appearing as not found in raid so we weren't 100 percent sure this was a bug we were pretty sure uh looks like it is so airdrop loot should be found in raid again so i know there's some of you guys out there that have like 15 or 20 red flares uh saved so i fully expect to see red flares on maps constantly non-stop for like the next two weeks as people burn through their flares they've been saving uh so look forward to that it also means uh airdrops are going to be hot spots again they've been kind of ignored so don't if you've been kind of lollygagging around and looting airdrops and it's been easy and people have left you alone probably not going to be the case anymore because people are going to be after their lead x's their stims guns that they need for everything else and just money so just keep that in mind big kind of change with that whole loop of the game and then the last one is increased spawn points for scavs on ground zero location i haven't been on ground zero so honestly since like the first couple of days of those days of the white maybe the first week um i haven't gone back i did notice though even in that short period of time that scavs seem like they just only spawn in a couple of places so with them being more spread out it hopefully will make the rotations around the map a little bit easier make where people camp a little bit less likely is just have to wait and see but that's it that's all the patch notes i'm not going to drag it on any further i'm tired i'm going to go to bed i'm just getting this done so I, the editors can work on it come morning time thank you guys for hanging out make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already throw me a comment down there what your favorite thing they changed or what the favorite thing they fixed for you guys was oh shit i forgot one more thing um they didn't mention anything in here about vacuum booting and i didn't expect them to 
they never do if they patch something with vacuum looting you will not see it so we we'll just have to wait and see we'll know within probably five or six hours of the patch going live because the forums will, the cheater forums will be ablaze about it if they actually fixed it or not so we'll have a pretty good idea if they addressed it uh i'll let you guys know once i get not hearsay you know not bullshit. once i i have a pretty good feeling that they fixed it uh, i'll let you guys know if that's the case uh and update you on that but just wanted to get that out there real quick but we'll wrap her up there thank you guys as always like and subscribe like i said appreciate you for supporting the content i wish you the best of luck in raids good luck with the new patch we'll see you in tarkov